You know, I did a little teaser on the end of one of my videos the other night about my most recent gun purchase. And tonight I want to take a moment to give you a little more in-depth look at what I bought. What I bought is a Winchester Model 94. Now this isn't just any Winchester Model 94, this is the John Wayne commemorative Winchester 94. This was uh, made in 1981. Now according to the original owner, this has not been loaded or fired. It's been kept in the box since he bought it. And from looking at it, I have to believe him. This gun does not look like it has even had a round to go through it. Now it has not been loaded since I owned it either. Uh, it has been fondled quite a bit, maybe even inappropriately. In fact, I am probably a felon in several of our more conservative states by this point but it is worth it because this gun is awesome. You know, I like the Model 94 by itself and I like John Wayne by himself. And this gun is really, really beautiful. I'll show you some of the markings on it here. On one side, it's got a stagecoach design here. The camera doesn't really do justice to it, so I'll try to show you some photos here. But it's got a stagecoach design on one side with a bunch of the names of his movies on it. Uh, on the other side, it's got kind of a, uh, you know, a cattle drive picture with more movies on it. Now I've seen every one of these movies probably at least three times. Uh, it's got his signature behind the hammer, uh, or a replica of his signature I should say. It's got a medallion set in the butt of the gun with John Wayne's image on it, which is really, really cool. I really like the flat top butt on the gun. I really like the design of it overall. It is the round tubular rifle barrel. Uh, it's just a really nice gun overall. It is really, really beautiful. The uh, receiver is pewter finished. It is a pewter coated receiver, so it has that nice silver U, but it's got a nice gold tarnish to it. It's got kind of a, you know, a bronzy look, which really makes the gun really, really beautiful. Now this gun is chambered in 3240, so it's not the most common round in the world, but like I said, I'm probably not going to shoot it. Uh, it's probably going to become a decorative piece. Now, now I didn't just buy this gun because I like the Model 94. Now, I do like the Model 94, as I was saying just a moment ago, and I do like John Wayne. But those two things together were not enough to make me buy this gun on their own. The reason I bought this gun is quite a bit more sentimental. Now, I was raised by my grandparents until I was 12 years old. They were the first parents I ever knew, until my grandmother died when I was very young, and I had to go and live with my mother. But until then, my grandmother and grandfather were my parents. They were my mother and my father. Uh, and my grandfather was a man of his time, and he was a man that had seen a lot of things in his life. He was a veteran of many wars and a longtime service member. Had a lot of issues, you know, just a lot of personal baggage that, you know, I forgive him for because, you know, it was like I said, it's, he's a man of his times. He wasn't like the most caring father you could ever hope for. He was kind of distant, and he very seldomly really involved himself with the children. But one of the few times I can ever remember where he would talk to me instead of at me was when we were watching John Wayne movies on Sunday, when they would do the double features. He really liked John Wayne, he liked the movies, and he would actually talk to me during those movies. Now, he was usually really drunk by the end because he was a total fall-down alcoholic, but he talked to me. And it was one of the greatest memories I have of my grandfather. So when people say, how can you buy a gun like this and not shoot it? Well, sometimes it's not the rifle that's important. It's not the ballistics. It's not the capacity. It's none of those things. That's not what's important about the gun. Sometimes the most important thing about the gun are the memories it brings with it. You ain't even my real dad.